Living with asthma can be challenging, especially when environmental factors exacerbate the condition. The worst places for individuals with asthma typically share certain characteristics that can trigger or worsen symptoms. These factors include high levels of air pollution, prevalent allergens, extreme weather conditions, and poor air quality due to industrial or vehicular emissions. This quick video breaks down the worst places to live for individuals with asthma. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America annually release a comprehensive report detailing the asthma capitals, including the most challenging places to live with asthma. The report provides an in-depth analysis of the asthma landscape across the United States, highlighting the areas where residents face the greatest difficulties in managing their condition. The report ranks cities based on three critical factors, asthma prevalence, emergency department visits due to asthma, and asthma-related mortality rates. By examining these factors, the AAFA provides a clear picture of the areas where asthma is not just prevalent, but also where it poses the most significant health risk. This includes the following cities, Detroit, Michigan, Cleveland, Ohio, Allentown, Pennsylvania, Lakeland, Florida, Fresno, California, Charleston, South Carolina, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, Poughkeepsie, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Baltimore, Maryland. In general, cities with high levels of air pollution are particularly challenging for asthma sufferers. Air pollutants such as ozone and particulate matter can irritate the airways and trigger asthma attacks. Industrial areas where factories emit pollutants or cities with heavy traffic congestion often have poor air quality, making them less suitable for those with asthma. Another significant factor to consider is the prevalence of allergens. Areas with high pollen counts, especially during spring and fall, can be difficult for people with asthma. Pollen from trees, grasses, and weeds is a common asthma trigger. Cities surrounded by rich vegetation or those with certain types of flora that release more allergens can exacerbate asthma symptoms. Similarly, areas with high humidity can promote the growth of mold, another common trigger for asthma attacks. Extreme weather conditions also play a role in worsening asthma symptoms. Regions that experience frequent temperature fluctuations can trigger asthma flare-ups. Cold air is a known irritant for the airways, making colder climates problematic for some asthma sufferers. On the other hand, extreme heat, often accompanied by increased ozone levels, can also worsen asthma symptoms. Urban areas with limited green spaces can also be challenging for those with asthma. Green spaces help in reducing air pollution and provide a cleaner air environment. Cities lacking these natural air filters can have poor air quality, which can be detrimental to asthma patients. Moreover, socioeconomic factors in certain urban areas can also contribute to worse asthma outcomes due to limited access to health care and asthma management resources. However, it's important to note that the impact of these environmental factors can vary greatly among individuals with asthma. What might be a significant trigger for one person may not affect another as strongly. Asthma sufferers should consider their specific triggers and consult with healthcare professionals when deciding on the best place to live. But, as previously mentioned, the worst places to live with asthma are typically characterized by high levels of air pollution, prevalent allergens, extreme weather conditions, and a lack of green spaces. These factors can vary from one region to another and from one individual to another, making personalized assessment crucial for managing asthma effectively. So, if you live in one of the cities mentioned, you may consider taking extra precautions or moving to a region with better air quality and breathing conditions. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.